What's going on everyone? My name is Alex and in today's video we're going to be talking about the easiest way to make over a thousand dollars a day with AI and ChatGPT. And the best part is I have nothing to sell you. In fact, I'm going to give you a bunch of free stuff that takes you through step by step everything that you need to do to get started earning money with AI and ChatGPT. And again, all this is 100% free and you can do this as a complete beginner from anywhere around the world. Inside this video, you are going to get a roadmap that will show you everything that you have to do in checklist format. You're also going to be getting a bunch of pre-made Instagram reels so that you can start posting on social media if you don't have content yet. I'm also going to give you a list of long form videos that you can actually start replicating that has been proven to work in the past as seen by the view count over here. I'm going to give you pre-made and pre-written emails that you're going to start sending about these different tools and a ton of other stuff including a free AI tool that will allow you to send emails and automate follow up and even build landing pages and all that is going to be 100% free and all you have to do to get access to all of it is just drop a comment, leave a like and subscribe and I will send you access to this right now. So go ahead, drop a comment, leave a like and subscribe and I will send you access to all this for free right now. So let's talk about how we're going to get started with this system. So what we went over in our last video is we actually made this site right here that basically funnels people in, gets them to put in their information, adds them as a contact, and ultimately sends them to our affiliate link. Now what we're going to go over today is we're actually going to go over the other side of this, which is where we can start sending people through automated email messages and we can get them to, uh, for example, book a call with us. We're going to do that today just in case you know that's something that you're interested in. Um, and again, if you're interested in anything um, in particular about this stuff, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'm always open to video ideas, but this is just what we're going to do today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we have our we have our landing page here, um, and basically they're going to click on this. We're going to give them the link, which is thefacelessvideo.com, and we give them this link, and it comes over here. This is a link to our video on our YouTube channel, and we click get get the free software, and it will come up with this where they will put in their information and they will get added into our email list. Once they get my free software, they click this, it sends them over to the high level free trial, which I'll also send you a link to this page uh, when you comment. But basically, they're gonna get that, they're gonna get the software, they're gonna get sent to high level, and then they essentially get added into your email list and they have the possibility to get the, the 14 day trial. So that's what we want. But how do we follow up with these leads? Let's say if we don't want to send them to a link and we might want to get them on a phone call for something, maybe like an onboarding call, something like that. So what we're actually going to do is instead we can click this button right here. And if you don't understand any of this, make sure you watch my last video. This is where I explain all this and I actually set up all this in real time. But basically you're going to click this button down here and you're actually going to scroll down. Or actually that's going to open the pop-up. We're going to go to the pop-up settings and go to the pop-up and the button down here is gonna go over to this page right here. We can actually have this go to next step, right? I'm not gonna click this, but you're gonna click go to next step, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna save it, and then we're gonna actually go to the next step, which is over here, and we're gonna delete all these because these, um, these are all part of the template that we got, and we don't want it, so if I could just spell delete, like that. I'm going to copy that. We're going to delete. We're just going to delete all these real quick. Once this loads. Deleting this. And so what we're going to do, what we'll talk about while we're doing this is basically when they click on that button and put in their information, um, they're going to get sent to the next step, which is the next page below. So we're going to create a page that sends them to a calendar. Um, and we're also going to create an email automation that um, also uh, pushes the calendar link. So what we'll do is we're going to delete this. Now we have just this. We're going to add a new step, name for the page, calendar. And then we are going to create funnel step. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a calendar. So before we get into this, we are going to 
actually we're gonna want to yeah okay so it's gonna have to be from scratch so I'm gonna have to show you from blank because you can't actually get a um, a template after we're inside the actual funnel so so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create a calendar right now so what we're gonna do is skip this calendar section right here we're gonna go to settings down here then we're gonna click calendars which is right here but actually before we do that we're gonna actually want to click my staff because how calendars work in go high level is you actually have to assign staff to the separate calendar and the reason is is because you can do a round robin let's say if you're a big company and you want to spread out the bookings between multiple employees you can actually do that um, or you can just send it to one person, which is going to be me in this case. So we're actually just going to add employees. We're going to add my information right here. I'm going to change a couple of things just so that it doesn't screw up. But we're going to scroll down here. Just hit save. You can change um, user availability. You know, what hours are they available? Stuff like that. Um, and you can also uh, mess with the roles and what they have access to in the high level um, bar over here because they're going to be signed into high level so you can change all this so they don't have access to settings it all depends so we're just going to hit save right here it's going to create a user which is right here and then what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to calendars and calendars is going to pull up a list of all the calendars you have this isn't your actual calendar this is the calendar um setup where you can see all the different bookings that you have um, and it'll make sense as we go into it but we're gonna click new calendar here and then we have all these options right here now something like round robin is that that's what I was talking about where you can send um, the bookings to multiple employees or multiple people um, we're not gonna do that in this video we're just gonna do a service calendar because there's only one of us um, and then this is where we can customize the calendar this is just pretty straightforward so we can do um, this is our um, inbound calendar I don't know just something like that um, a description if you want select staff member select myself um, you can obviously select more people uh, as well as you add people we have a custom URL which we're not gonna uh, mess with then we got service duration you know, how long is it gonna how long is it gonna be let's just say our call is gonna be 15 minutes we're gonna be available Monday through Friday uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. confirm um, slug is required uh inbound inbound with two d's there we go okay and so there we go so now we have our link um now i'm actually going to copy this i don't think this is going to matter but we're actually just going to copy that and then we're going to go to we're going to go back and we're going to actually mess with the site that we're going to make so we're going to send them through so here's the funnel so we're going to send them through the page they're gonna click on the link um, they're gonna put in their information and when they click on the button instead of sending them to a link like we did um, by changing the next step we said go to the next step instead of going to the link which is the, the affiliate link so they're gonna click on that they're gonna put in their information then they're gonna be sent down here to the calendar now what we're gonna do is we're going to create from blank and we're just gonna get a blank page to work with so how we're going to do this is we can actually do a we're gonna to have to add a section and then add rows so this is where it gets a little tricky and confusing start at the top we're gonna to do a full width and then we're gonna add a row in there so we can actually do add row and we can do a column in here and then add element we can add a headline and so what we can do is now we can name this headline book a call here and you can obviously mess with this make this look pretty I'm just gonna you know keep it simple just so that we can move through with this but we're gonna click sections we're gonna click full width and then we're gonna actually add we're at a row we're at a column and then we're going to add a let's see if we can find it calendar we're gonna add a calendar it's gonna have you select your calendar as we see inbound calendar was the name add that and now it's going to show up. It's just like Calendly. So book call here. You can obviously mess with this, get a preset, all that stuff. For this, we're just going to keep it very, very simple. But essentially, it's going to send them here. Or you're going to say, uh, you know, thanks for your, or thanks for, um, and we're just going to leave it book call here. 
Uh, but you can say, you know, appreciate it for putting in your information. I was going to say, like, thanks for putting in, thanks for giving your your information. But, you know, that kind that's not a blah. That kind of sounds scammy when you say that. It's just not good. So we have this right here. Let's just pretend that this is just what we have here. Like we can obviously make this look pretty, but we're not going to um, because just for a sake of time. So we're going to hit save and publish. And we're actually going to see. So so what's going to happen is they're going to click here. Let's just let's visit the site. So we're going to view page. And this is the page. So the last marketing tool you'll ever need, you'll obviously change this as well because it's going to a calendar and not the uh, the thing. But watch this video. And this is one of my YouTube videos. I'd recommend putting a YouTube video on this page just so that people understand what you're offering and stuff like that. Uh, give me my free software, which we're obviously going to change that as well. But when they click on this, instead of getting sent, they'll get sent over here. And they're going to put in their name, their email, their phone number, get my free software. Again, we're going to change the name of this if you want to do the calendar and say, um, just submit. And then what's going to happen is they're going to click this and they're going to get sent to this page over here. We're not going to send it there because I actually have that active and people are going to that and going to high level. So then they're going to come over here. We're going to click C and it's going to say book a call here. Here's the link. They can click over here, hit select 315, for example, put in their information, uh, hit yes on that, schedule meeting. And they're gonna sit here and they're gonna schedule a meeting. You can obviously put a description on what you're offering, tell them what they're getting on a call for, and then there you go, you have appointment scheduled. Now, how are they gonna see this, right? That's the, that's the question. So how you're gonna manage this is you're actually going to so what we're going to do is we're going to go to calendars right here and we're going to actually see the booking. Um, oh, okay, down here. So these are your calendars down here. You just check this box and now we can see it right here. So if we actually click here, we can actually see booked by Alex um, confirmed to activity log and we can actually give them a call when the time comes. And this is perfect because you got to realize this is all automated. All you're doing is you're making content and then you're sending them to a link. They're getting they're getting to a onboarding page where they watch a video and then they input their information. They end up on the contacts list over here. So if we click contacts, they will come up on this section here. Here, as you see, here's my information as a contact. Um, but you're just going to get people down here. And eventually, what you can do is you can actually just send these people emails and just emails and emails and emails with automation and this video again is getting to about 10 minutes so we're gonna cut it short right here but tomorrow's video we are actually going to talk about how we're going to take these uh these contacts that we're going to get and we're actually going to send them through automations and get them to book or get them to click on the link we want them to click on um if they didn't already initially click on what we wanted them to click on so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you learned something today if you like this video or you have any suggestions of what i should do next or any questions go ahead and send that in the comments if you want all the bonuses that i mentioned in the beginning of the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and with that being said have a nice day peace